Hey YouTube, I'm Swanton007 here to do a DVD review that I just finished. We've got uh, the WWE Attitude Era DVD review. Get straight into it. Disc 1 was uh, pretty much a documentary and a few special features, which were uh, a few promos. Um, the documentary was uh, fairly good. You know, they uh, it was only an hour. They skipped over a few things, but uh, for anyone that didn't sort of live through the era, it was a good recap of what happened and... Uh, being, say, 13 almost years later from when this was uh, put onto the TV and shown to the world, um, it was a great way to show people what it was all about and what people from that uh, generation, why people from that generation say it's the best uh, thing of all time, um, the best era of all time. Uh you know, you had a uh, you had Vince Russo, which was very surprising. No Vince McMahon in the documentary saying anything. Uh, mainly Road Dog and Triple H. I don't even think Triple H. Mainly Road Dog was sort of the main sort of person who constantly popped up in the DVD. Um, my only problem with the DVD was that uh, they focused on certain parts like uh, D Generation X, McMahon, Austin, um, like. They just focused on certain parts. They didn't focus on the whole and everything. They didn't give everything an even amount of time for what they did. Um, Mankind never really... Uh, Mick Foley didn't really get much, which I thought was uh, very interesting by the WWE. They really should have fit him in there. They did mention Dudley Boys and uh, Hardy Boys, who are in TNA at the moment, but uh, didn't stop them from mentioning them. Special features were pretty much just a uh, two, four, six, eight, eleven promos that uh, they decided to put onto the um, onto the uh, special features and not do it on the other two discs. Just extend the DVD a bit. Um, in these promos, my favourite one may have been uh, Jim Ross interviews Triple H. That was good. Um, an evening at the Friendly Tap. There was May Young and the Acolytes. All good stuff. Um, and yeah, they just had little bits from everyone. Uh, so I'm going to give the documentary 4 out of 5 and the special features 5 out of 5. Disc 1 is going to get a 9 out of 10. Disc 2 was a mix of matches and promos. Um, having like Mike Tyson and DX, uh, Triple H becoming Dick's leader, um, and then a few of the sort of notable matches were undertake a Four Corners match for the Tag Team Championships, uh, Austin Taker versus Kane and Mankind versus New Age Outlaws versus Rock and Owen Hart for a three and a half star match. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was good footage from Raw. Don't really get that on much else. Like they they actually did a fairly good job of not they combining the pay per view matches and the TV matches, which was good. Um, other notable notable matches was the Lions Den match from SummerSlam '98, uh, the finals of the WWE Championship t uh, tournament from Survivor Series '98, um, and a Raw match for the WWE Championship um, between Taker and Austin, three and a half stars. And Austin actually won the WWE Championship in that match from Taker, which was a uh, fairly momentous for Raw. So this two I'm going to give an 8.5 out of 10. Disc 3, um, oh, you know, Disc 2 was very uh, very consistent with how well the matches went and the, the promos and they mixed it up well. Disc 3 was a bit of a, kind of a flop for the first half, you know. They, they didn't really get their first three match, matches till the second, their first three star match to the second half of the DVD and that was Rikishi versus Val Venus in a steel cage match which was very good, but they spent the last two. They spent the last half of the DVD on three matches, which was great, and really picked the whole DVD up. I was about to give this three. I was looking at like a five or something, but these last three matches, you got the steel cage match I just mentioned from Fully Load, two thousand three and a half stars. You got a TLC match between Edge and Christian, the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys at SummerSlam two thousand four and three quarter stars. One of my more favourite matches of all time. And a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship between Kurt Angle, Stone Cold, The Rock, Taker, Triple H, Rikishi, and Armageddon 2000 uh, for a four and a half star match. So those three matches really picked up the DVD and really, they lasted like an hour and 20 minutes for the whole thing. It was really great to see all, to see those matches uh, on the DVD. And 
they really fit into the sort of theme. Uh, this three, I'm going to give it an 8.5. For the overall DVD, everything fitted into the theme. It was all definitely Attitude Era stuff. There was nothing that really stood out to me that wasn't Attitude Era. They mixed it all up with a bit of comedy segments, some good wrestling, a big rivalries, uh, some matches from Raw's and SmackDown at the pay-per-views. They did a fantastic job on that. They mixed in a little bit of hardcore action, and I really thoroughly enjoyed this DVD. Overall, I want to give the DVD an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, and yes, guys, I'm a Swanton 007. Comment, like, and subscribe. About to get my Judgment Day pay-per-view watched from 2009, and then I'm on to the Brett the Hitman heart for uh, something that uh, one of my, one of the, one of you watches out there asked for. So uh, I'll get on to that straight away. Thanks, guys.